Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another live stream by me, Blue084. I'm going to take my chewing gum out of my mouth so you guys can hear me chewing, chewing gum. But uh, yeah, welcome back. We, I think, once again, it's been a while since I was live, but that uh, hasn't stopped me being live. We had a bit of problems with the uh, different technologies, but uh, I'll get off of that. Where well, I have been recording on the PS4, which you can't see, but it is out from the corner. So guys, if you do not get the best quality of the video, because I know this one's a bit laggy, don't worry, I will be coming back, and I will be, uh, I am recording, so you, everything that I'm doing in this live stream, you'll be able to see in a later video, which I'm editing together the very beginning from where, what we came here, which was the Spider-Man figure, and if you don't uh, know what that was, then definitely do uh, check out older videos and older streams until I've uploaded that video. Because what we've done already, as you can see, we've gone and done a wing already. Uh, this is just a practice wing, and I'll explain about wings in a moment. Uh, hi there in the chat. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've uh, I've made a little uh, piece for him uh, for his staff, and I'll show you the picture that I'm working from from as well in the moment but if you don't know who this is this is my original character or my oc and his name is blue angel or blue angel i'm not really quite sure what to really call him but uh, angel is in there somewhere uh, but uh, last time if you remember we were doing the clothes i haven't uh, edited that video yet like i said i'm editing the whole thing together so you get like one stream of one video uh for the whole sort of process of uh, doing the angel but uh that's what he's looking like. Way, if I can get him in the shop. That's what he's looking like so far. And uh, yesterday, I had a bit of a faff off stream. If you want to see what I did, I did post it all up on Instagram and my TikTok. If you're not familiar with them, it's same name, different place, just sort of definitely spelt. And in, on in TikTok, you better say uh, uh, full stop between each letter. Just to, just to information you were trying to find me over there. But that's... What we, uh, we, like I said, we started with a um, the armature underneath because I didn't want to build an armature out of um, tin foil and things, but I did have uh, like an old, like, uh, oh, I can't think of what the blown thing was called. Um, it was Spider Man, but it was made out of plaster Paris. And I was like, oh, I'll break the hand off it. That's why this hand is curled. I uh, broke the hand off and I was like, I wonder if I could use it as an armature and uh, try and create, instead of having to make my own armature and start from basic scratch, I wanted to sort of go away from just making a form of a person and recreate something over top of something else. And as you, as you can see, I have um, done that so far. I've made little feet, made given them a tail. Now, I can't wiggle it around too much because these wings are quite soft because I, what I did was I baked the, uh, the wing piece first which I won't do today because I've figured out that I can do it all in one go. Sort of. It uh, does take a little bit of baking. So what I might do, turn the oven on because it only needs to be in the oven for about 10 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll do it all maybe now. So you get to see everything I'm doing as well as what I'm recording. So you get to see it all sped up and things like that. But uh, check out those wings is what we're going to be uh, building today because we've already done the clothing and I'm showing you how to do the clothing. Um but if you can see those wings there, like again, they are a little bit soft, but the underneath is all hardened because I baked pre baked or well, I pre baked the whole thing now. Uh, to each stage and each time I do something, I'll bake it purely because it just gets really tacky and it just becomes really uh, unmanageable, really, if you don't sort of pre bake or bake in each stage. Like I baked for the feet and then stopped, came back, and did the clothing, and then baked all of that on, and then, like I said, uh, the, all the rest of that. And uh, like I said, with the same process for the wings, and it's, again, I'll show you that process today on uh, baking. And then if you want to relay on top of something, like I have for the, like I have done for the sash, I'm gonna quickly show that there to the other camera. But uh, the sash here, which I uh, made on top, that's all the extra little, excuse me, extra little bits. But if you're wondering what this little guy here is, or who this little guy down here is, my little. Oh, no, little lizard. I'm not sure if I was going to turn him into wings. It's which got gave me the idea to do a wing like that. But uh, I wasn't uh, wasn't very happy with the wings for uh, Blue Angel, Blue Angel, or my original OC. Uh, like I said, I was going to show you a picture that I was working from. And I will be listening to a playlist in the background today. Uh, sorry, not a playlist. I will be listening to comics. I will be listening to something which I think is very apt for what we're drawing today. I'm um, drawing what we're making today. 
Uh, let me know if you think the same. And we did get it in from Abigail, who was in the chat. But uh, that's the picture I'm working from with the whole clothing. Try to keep to all the uh, main parts with the sort of arms with that kind of like uh, cloth that goes down, dangles down by the arms. Uh, kept with the shorts and uh, kept with the two toes. You can see the two toes. Camera is really crap for um, showing everything. It's kind of kind of tiny camera. Use it for live stream when I'm on uh, gaming and stuff. But got his tail there, and I'm now working all the wings, which hopefully I'll do it justice because I, I did quite. It took me a long time to do one wing. So if this does take me more than an hour, uh, then I will. Then I get, obviously I'm recording, so everything I don't do now, you'll be able to see it either on TikTok or you can go over to Instagram. But anyway, bleh, it's enough talking. Let's get some clay out. Again, the clay that I'm using is polymer clay. If you're not familiar with polymer clay, I would definitely, if you've used clay as an air drying clay before, <coughs> or monster clay, I hear monster clay is a little bit of a mixture of polymer clay and um, mud. <laughs> but uh, this this is the uh, polymer clay. If you've never again, if you've never used polymer clay, then I would definitely recommend it. If you like to use clay items or if you like to use kind of any kind of like kids clay, not, you know, the kids clay that kind of can, comes in a similar fashion. If you've used that before, this is like the next stage on really from what you would have used before. It's generally quite pliable. If you're going to start out, I would use the softened clay, which is what I'm using. This is the, you can get it in really small packs like this is what I start on. You get roughly about that much what I just cut off with and maybe that and plus no probably that and again that and that again you get but you can make out of that uh probably if you can see on the other camera which you can hopefully all the things i've made previously and you haven't been checking them out yeah definitely do so in the playlist there are plenty for you there i haven't made a polymer clay one because i haven't really used polymer clay that much more so as uh, when i Warm up the clay a sec. So it's nice and ready because I have not warmed it up. But because it's softened, which is quite handy, I don't think this is going to be enough clay. I might have to get a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it's quite easy to soften out. Uh, you'll need to make it soften. But if you're using a primer, a prim, primo sort of polymer clay, because this is one of the cheaper brands, but cost doesn't matter with polymer clay, I've found. If you're not going to Unless you're going to be like remolding it, if you're going to be remolding it. I'd use a higher class of um, stuff, uh, polymer clay, to get it done. I need some tin foil, perhaps. Not too thick. Uh, we need some tin foil for to begin with to make the wings shape. Then we've made once we've made the wing shape, we'll straighten out and flatten out this polymer clay, which I've just softened here. And uh, I'll show you how I do each stage, like I do. I just get a shitty old piece of uh, tin foil here. Doesn't matter where, if you reuse it. What I say, where if you use it, you can always reuse it, especially if you're using clay. But if you're not, uh, I would generally put it in recycling and uh, get it recycled to be used for someone else. But for this, I'm recycling it by making it into a set of wings. You get it and you sort of make it nice and thin, nice and flat, as you would for any kind of armature. Again, this is why I didn't want to go from base armature to um, what you can see now for the for the character I've made, because it takes so long to make an armature, because you've got to make sure the armature is... All right, size and strong. It's strong enough to hold the clay once you've put it on. Another reason why I bake, I bake as I go. Because if I bake as I go, things become more softer, less pliable, so they don't stick to each other as well. You don't want things sticking to each other when you're uh, trying to mold them around because they just become one clump, uh, clump again. So it's always best to bake and then carry on with other bits. Right, for this, for the wing, uh, it's going to be a bit tricky for me to show you, but if I lay this one down a second, what I did was just like, because I already had a piece here, 
which I will be keeping because it's good for, for the armature, for the strength of this piece, which I found again yesterday. That it, it takes about two things, but if you think of a, an actual wing or <coughs> wing from a bird or any kind of animal, or mythical animal, they always have uh, a set of strong bones here and a weaker bones as they come down, or just a strong bone here and a weaker bone as it goes down. So the weaker bone is about here, but the whole thing is going to be about this size. I'll take it from there to measurement, just so I can get an idea where I want the bend for the wing. Same as that one. I don't want to make it too big compared to that one, so let's quickly check on size of that. I would say that's a bit too big. So let's bend that down. And then you can also kind of, while you're bending, think where uh, where do I want the uh, where do I want the wing to be? Do I want it to be you know, straight out like the other one? Do I want it wing? Do I want the wing to be wrapping around? Do I want the wing to be shielding? Sort of thing. Uh, with this one, I kind of want to keep it basic because I do like the, the idea I put the tail in. So I don't want to cover up the tail too much or cover up too much detail because um, that one I kind of want kind of similar to, like that. So again. I'll show you how later when it comes to baking that you will need to prop it up. No matter how you do it, you can put it down like that and have the wing like this. But he is holding a staff, so I don't want the staff to get in the way of the wing. Plus, he will cover up the legs and it would just be a pain. Uh, so I'll probably put it like that. But that's, again, that's a bit too big. So let's grab my scissors and we'll chop it down to size. A about there. We'll chop it down to size, making sure he's the right size. I'm going to have to stand them up again. Sorry, guys, just so I can see with the back piece I'll need to use. You can see I've left it there and left all of this uh, hardened, so I've got something to mold onto. Because what I'm going to do is put the wing on, and then I'll mold all of the wing into the back. In fact, I'm going to take that little necklace thing off there out of the way because that's in the way. So let's take that off because it's not baked. You can just put it over there and remold it. I can probably turn it into something else and redefining things. But uh, so about there, I'll be putting on the the wing round about there and then molding all of this in like I have with this one here. Again, I did all that before, baked it, came back, and then uh, started to put the wings on. And I'll show you how to make wing, uh, the actual feathers, sorry. Uh, they're all separate. They're all put on there separately. Um, I showed you over on Instagram and TikTok for what, uh, what the wings look like pre-putting on. Uh, so that's the armature. It's getting a bit weak now. So we'll start wrapping it up because we've got the shape we want. So we don't need that anymore. We've got the shape. All we've got to do is start making the clay fit that sort of size. Again, we don't want it too thin. Uh, sorry, well, no, we want it quite thin, but not too thin that I'll rip. Turn my oven on, because I'm going to bake in stream today. And while I get this softened up, I'll listen to the playlist chosen by Abigail and Chat. Leaves of chat's coming in, guys, but uh, I'm not going to talk for a minute or two. I'm just going to listen to this. Playing from Galaxy A20e. It was a nice day. All the days had been nice. There had been rather more than seven of them so far, and rain hadn't been invented yet. But clouds massing east of Eden suggested that the first thunderstorm was on its way, and it was going to be a big one. The angel of the eastern gate put his wings over his head to shield himself from the first drops. I'm sorry, he said politely. What was it you were saying? I said... That one went down like a lead balloon, said the servant. Oh, yes, said the angel, whose name was Aziraphale. I think it was a bit of an overreaction, to be honest, said the servant. I mean, first offence and everything. I can't see what's so bad about knowing the difference between good and evil anyway. It must be bad, reasoned Aziraphale, in the slightly concerned tones of one who can't see it either and is worrying about it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been involved. They just said, get up there and make some trouble, 
said the settler, whose name was Crawley, although he was thinking of changing it now. Crawley, he decided, was not him. Yes, but you're a demon. I'm not sure if it's actually possible for you to do good, said Aziraphale. It's down to your basic, you know, nature. Nothing personal, you understand? You've got to admit, it's a bit of a pantomime, though, said Crawley. I mean, pointing out the tree and saying don't touch in big letters, not very subtle, is it? I mean, why not put it on top of a high mountain or a long way off? Makes you wonder what he's really planning. Best not to speculate, really, said Aziraphale. You can't second-guess inevitability, I always say. There's right and there's wrong. If you do wrong, when your tops do right... You're going to you plan out, guys. Best thing to use is a kid's toy, or if you've got a roller pin. They sat in the uh, if you don't use a wooden one, because it won't stick to it. Anything plastic flowers. or anything like that, Eventually, you can pick them up anywhere you go. You, you can pick them up specifically sort of designed for it, but uh, I just use a kid's toy. A guilty like you get in Play-Doh. But it's just the same. What are you doing is flatten it out. You did, didn't you? It's nice and flat. Nice and even as well. It looked very impressive, I thought. Get it to yes. a nice thickness. But, I can't well, really tell you inches. Lost in You'll kind of know as you do it. Oh, no, not, not exactly lost, more. Well, Aziraphale looked wretched. If you must know, he said, a trifle testily, I gave it away. Crawley stared up at him. Well, I had to, said the angel, rubbing his hands distractedly. They looked so cold, poor things. And she's expecting already. And what with the vicious animals out there and the storm coming up, I thought, well, where's the harm? So I just said, look, if you come back, there's going to be an almighty rag, but you might be needing this sword. So here it is. Don't bother about me. Just do everyone a big favour and don't let the sun go down on you here. He gave Crawley a worried grin. That was the best course, wasn't it? I'm not sure it's actually possible for you to do evil, said Crawley sarcastically. And Zirapheo didn't notice the tone. Oh, I do hope so, he said. I really do hope so. Okay, uh, so, um, it's been worrying me all afternoon. Show you the thickness. They watched the rain for a while. Funny thing is... Like a pancake. Said Crawley. Near enough a pancake. I keep uh, wondering whether the general pancake thing got wasn't the right thing to do as well. A demon can get into real trouble doing the right thing, he nudged the angel. Funny if we both got it wrong, eh? Funny if I did the good thing and you did the bad one, eh? Not really, said the Zirapel. Crawley looked at the rain. No, he said, sobering up. I suppose not. Okay. Slate black curtains tumbled over Eden. Thunder growled among the hills. The animals, freshly named, Say, towered from the storm. Far away, much? in the dripping woods, something bright and fiery flickered among the trees. From? It was going to be this a dark and a stormy night. I'm really enjoying that. If you enjoy these guys and you want to dedicate or um, donate your own personal audiobooks or music or anything like that or if you've got a suggestion for me to listen to in the background I'd love some suggestions leave them in the comments and uh, um, you may be able to post links there I'm not sure I can't remember if I stopped me being able to do it because there was a lot of idiots but uh, yeah if you can't you can post them over on Instagram or just give me tell me where they are but uh, like I said we've got all of this flattened out now uh, just using a kid's toy over there uh but what you need to do now is cut around the right shape because you don't want to just try and stick it anywhere you want to get it so it's nice and the right shape you'll always have excess and what you can do with excess i'll show you how to make wings with the excess i'd leave a little bit when you cut around just so you've got something to flat over the armature or the tin foil And here comes the wing part. So a wing always has a bone there or something to separate it. Always has something around the lines of something like that there. Maybe maybe less of a thing. So I'll cut it there instead. Again, it doesn't matter. We can whop it together. We don't want too much coming down, but we don't want too little coming down here. We'll cut that off there. That's a bit too much. That might be a bit too much, actually. Let's take that away. That's what it looks like. Now, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So let's see. 
grabbed it again so I can kind of get it equal. I do want a little bit of a dangle down there. So let's put that piece back where that one was. Around about there. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to make all this flat again. Mold it in together. Because I'm going to be putting wet, um, feathers over the top of this. That'll give me a chance to see what the wings look like that I've already made on here that haven't baked, but I have baked this piece that I'm making now, which is why I was able to stick the wings onto it because else it would have been really pliable uh, and it would have been uh, too sort of, it just would have been so. Uh, what you would be doing is putting the wing on, or sorry, the feather on, and then the wing would already be soft. So what you'd be doing is basically mushing them together and making a flat mess, really. And I'll show you how to make wings as it's baking in a moment, which I've got to finish making this first. So while I do, I'll uh, listen to the rest of that. I'll listen to the rest of that. Good omens. Thank you. <laughs> A narrative of certain events occurring in the last 11 years. Cut it up round your armature and with until you completely nice covered it. Accurate prophecies of Agnes Nutter. Compiled and edited with footnotes of an educational nature and precepts for the wise by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Dramatis Personae. Supernatural beings. God. Metatron, the voice of God. Azip Raphael, an angel and part-time rare book dealer. Satan, a fallen angel, the adversary. Beelzebub, a likewise fallen angel and prince of hell. Hastur, a fallen angel and duke of hell. Ligur, likewise a fallen angel and duke of hell. Crowley, an angel who did not so much fall as saunter baby downwards. Apocalyptic oh. horse persons. Death, war, famine, pollution. Humans. Thou shalt not commit adultery, Pulsifer, a witch finder. Agnes Nutter, a prophetess. Newton, Pulsifer, Wages Clerk, and Witchfinder Private. Anathema Device, Practical Occultist and Professional Descendant. Shadwell, Witchfinder Sergeant. Madam Tracy, Painted Jezebel, Mornings Only, Thursdays by Arrangement, and Medium. Sister Mary Loquacious, a Satanic Nun of the Chattering Order of St. Beryl. Mr. Young, a father. Mr. Tyler, a chairman of a residence association, a delivery man. Them. Adam, an antichrist. Pepper, a girl. Wensleydale, a boy. Brian, a boy. Full chorus of Tibetans, aliens, Americans, Atlanteans, and other rare and strange creatures of the last days. And Dog, satanical hellhound and cat warrior. Eleven years ago. Current theories on the creation of the universe state that if it were created at all and didn't just start, as it were, unofficially, it came into being between 10 and 20,000 million years ago. By the same token, the Earth itself is generally supposed to be about 4,500 million years old. These dates are incorrect. <laughs> Medieval Jewish scholars put the date of the creation at 3760 BC. Greek What's the meaning Orthodox of life? Theologians put creation isn't it? as far back as 508 BC. These suggestions are also. This reminds incorrect. me of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Archbishop James Usher, 1580 to 1656, published Annales Veteris et Novi Testamenti in 1654, which suggested that the heaven and earth were created in 4004 BC. One of his aides took the calculation further and was able to announce triumphantly that the Earth was created on Sunday, the 21st of October, 4004 BC, at exactly 9 a.m., because God liked to get work done early in the morning while he was feeling fresh. This, too, was incorrect, by almost a quarter of an hour. The whole business with the fossilised dinosaur skeletons was a joke the paleontologists haven't seen yet. <laughs> This proves two things. Firstly, that God moves in extremely mysterious, not to say circuitous ways. God does not play dice with the universe. 
He plays an ineffable game of his own devising, which might be compared from the perspective of any of the other players, i.e. everybody, to being involved in an obscure and complex version of poker in a pitch dark room with blank cards for infinite stakes with a dealer who won't tell you the rules and who smiles all the time. Secondly, the Earth's a Libra. The astrological prediction for Libra in the Your Stars Today column of the Tadfield... Okay, I gotta got stop that. Uh, well, what were you what we, <clears throat> we putting chat there? Uh, I found Terry. Oh, Terry Pratchett. Yeah. Terry Pratchett, always pretty funny. Ne yeah. Yeah, Prince Terry Pratchett's hilarious. Uh, right, okay. So, back on to what we were doing, because that is so funny. I will definitely be looking more for more of those audiobooks if I can. Uh, we need to get these, this wing on, I think. The cooker is nice and warm now, so it's all ready. I can pre-bake that, but before I do, I've got to show you how to connect it and brace it because we'll be using pencils and we'll be using other pieces of tin foil to wrap around to support the wing as it bakes because it will not support itself because it's so heavy. I had the same problem with this wing, but I've got to be, I'll be doing it with this wing here and showing you what I did yesterday. Again, another reason why I pre pre-did it to be able uh, to be able to actually get it to stand up was a pain in the butt. Can't lay it down, unfortunately, but what I'll do is I'll turn the camera so you can see it in the other camera there. Or I'm using a pencil. It's a bog standard pencil just to brace the wing so it can actually stand up. So again, I can start working on the shape of the talon up top a little bit before I break it. And so it's, a, so it's kept up and propped up so you can see what uh, I'm taking that you can't see, but you can see what I've done. You, if I turn it ever slightly there, you may be able to see what I can do on, on the on the live stream here. But uh, the pencil's here, and it's propping up the wing, same as I did for this one here. Again, I propped, I, I don't want to take that pencil away now, but uh, I propped the wing uh, here in the same way. So I get the shape of the wing sort of diving in up, diving in around, so it's sort of encasing the character sort of idea. And where I got that idea was these wings here. Didn't make these wings, but I do feel like I want to make uh, one of these. Uh, I'll have a go at making one of these. I kind of want to go from small items to bigger items um, for polymer clay. This is starting to run out, but I, it wasn't costly to buy this. I might buy a load more and see what else I can make. Then again, this may, may be enough to make another model. I think I've got enough excess to make the uh, feathers. But I want this wing to not be completely like that. I don't want it flapping over. So I'm going to have to support it another way. Give me a second while I grab a little excess and cover over this piece of tin foil, which I've already put, but uh, let's flatten it out. Again, it's another way of supporting the wing. Having two sets of armature, one where it was and two. To support it, support it up, support it in this way. You don't want to put too much pressure on anywhere, but you do want to kind of connect it as much as possible, but also as little as possible. You want it connecting to the uh, main piece because obviously the wings. You kind of all, kind of want to give the idea that the wing is connected only by the bone. Whoop, drop that piece. Only connected by the bone. Like it would be if it was real. There you go. All right. Let's make sure it's molded in there nicely. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the feathers. I'm not going to worry about it being all foldy. I kind of want it to be a little bit foldy. So I'm going to say foldy. I've got ripples or whatever inside. That's a, that's very not, let's chop that off, I don't like that. Yes, yeah, it's just looking a bit too much there. Get a bit more off, there we are. 
Right, where do I put things so I can make this? Because it's getting soft now. The more you play, the more you play around with it, the softer it becomes, and the softer it becomes, the more pliable it becomes. But you don't want it pliable if you don't want to be. I'm going to chop a little bit more off down here. A little bit too much compared to the other wing. Now I've got it up. I can see the actual difference between the both. Right. While I attach this, let's listen to a little bit more of that. Advertiser, on the day this story begins, read as follows. Libra, 24 September to 23 October. You may be feeling run down and always in the same old daily round. Home and family matters are highlighted and are hanging fire. Avoid unnecessary risks. A friend is important to you. Shelve major decisions until the way ahead seems clear. You may be vulnerable to a stomach upset today, so avoid salads. Help could come from an unexpected quarter. This was perfectly correct on every count, except for the bit about the salads. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It should have been, but that's the weather for you. For every mad scientist who's had a convenient thunderstorm just on the night his great work is finished. Again, I can't really show you on the live stream, but you will see on the video recording that I've done here. But uh, put a little bit of tin foil here, wrapped around it, so it's holding this piece of wing. So it gives more of a shape, shaped wing instead of it all flapped and folded. Don't want folded wings, but I want semi-folded so they're sort of open. And uh, then in a moment, I'm going to put this in the oven. I've put it in there for about 10 minutes. Then I'll need to cool it down. We're already at 32 minutes, so I don't think we're doing too badly today for time. Just make a check in before I put it in, make sure everything, everything is... Shut up! Where everything I'm putting it, where I want it to be. And uh, it's all kept nicely. So when I bake it, I get to stick things onto it afterwards. Whew. All right, okay. I might stick this in the fridge afterwards. But uh, hopefully you can see... A little bit what you can what I'm doing there. Return it ever so slightly more. Pencil holding up the wing so it doesn't flop. Because if I did, it would be down by it, it would be down by its legs by now and falling off. So supporting the wing. Making sure it's not too supported by other crap though. Because that's that'll become part of it, and we don't want that. We just want it supported. We don't want it to become a piece of anything else. And uh Sure, everywhere supported. Could even have a bigger, bigger swipe to this one. Maybe. No. No, I'll have it like that. Right. Okay. So the oven's ready. What you got to do with the oven? Nice and simple. Nice and easy. If uh, I always put it on a baking tray of. Bake, you know, the same way you make rosties or whatever else you bake stuff on. I'll just quickly move it over. I always put them on a bit of tin foil. If I was, if it didn't have a base, I would definitely put it on tin foil. I'm only putting it on tin foil now because the base because it gives me something to lift off. So I'll be able to lift the tin foil off the tray and then put it into a cooler place for it to cool down. But uh, you don't have to use anything like that. You can leave it on the tray and let it cool down. Uh, on the actual tray, but it continues to cook, but only in one then that one area. So if you've got feet that you want to keep flat or something like that, probably helpful. But it will kind of like may bubble in the wrong areas. So, right, cool. Uh, well, these wings are already done. I'm going to show you how to make these wings that I've done here in a moment. But first, I can put this in the oven to bake. So, crossed fingers, everybody. This doesn't fall apart in the oven as we do this live. This is going in. Uh, in now. All right, he's in. So all we got is the warmer. I think he's warmer. Let's give it a little bit more of a heat and we'll set Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes, please. Second timer, 10 minutes, starting now. Right, okay, then I have 
Got to quickly tell you what you put it in for, I suppose. Uh, okay, if you're working whatever these temperatures are for you, 110 Celsius or 230 Fahrenheit is what you should put it in at. I put it in at the heat I always put it at and kind of, oh yeah, that'll do. But uh, that's because I've been doing it for a while. Uh, and the, oh no, we're going to be putting it in for 30 minutes on a low temperature. So low heat, long time. Longer the heat, lower the heat, longer the time. Higher the heat. Very quickly, the time. You don't want to put it in there for, uh, you do not want to put it on like 200 uh, Celsius because it will burn. Uh, if it doesn't burn, it will bubble. But uh, you don't want any discoloring. You do not want any kind of like too much heat and it will burn and it will, um, like I said, it will bubble. And then you've destroyed the whole of the amount of work that you've been doing because the whole thing's ruined because it bubbled. Kind of bubbles up and it's just, it's not good. Maybe if you want a bubbled effect, but. That's what happened to this little chap here. That's what it looks like burnt. And that's what happens to it. That was a skull at one point, but I did turn it into uh, this fella here. <laughs> right, we need to make wings. Before I do, I'm going to put that on. Have myself a slurp of tea. And lying on the slab, you to that, there have been dozens who sat around aimlessly under peaceful stars while Igor clocks up the overtime. But don't let the fog, with rain later, temperatures dropping to around 45 degrees, give anyone a false sense of security. Just because it's a mild night doesn't mean that dark forces aren't abroad. They're abroad all the time. They're everywhere. They always are. That's the whole point. Two of them lurked in the ruined graveyard. Two shadowy figures, one hunched and squat, the other lean and menacing. Both of them Olympic-grade lurkers. If Bruce Springsteen had ever recorded Born to Lurk, these two would have been on the album cover. They had been lurking in the fog for an hour now, but they had been pacing themselves and could lurk for the rest of the night if necessary, and still enough southern menace left for a final burst of lurking around dawn. Finally, after another 20 minutes, one of them said, Bugger this for a lark, he should have been here hours ago. The speaker's name was Hastur. He was a Duke of Hell. Many phenomena, wars, plagues, sudden audits, have been advanced as evidence of the hidden hand of Satan in the affairs of man. But whenever students of demonology get together, the M25 London Orbital Motorway is generally agreed to be among the... <laughs> All right, okay. <clears throat> From one story of wings to another. Uh, wings. You can use scrap for wings. Yeah, and actually, the more pointy or the scrappier piece, the better, really. But another way I found that you can do it was uh, flatten out the flatten out the same way as you do for the main wing. But you got a wing here. Let's say this is a piece of scrap because it is. It's a piece of scrap, and uh, we're going to turn it into a wing. So let's just move these pieces. Again, the wings are going to be sort of varied in size. I wish I kept a few now for uh, reference, but for a small wing, bog, bog standard, pinch the flattened size like that, because that'll be the piece that you'll be attaching it to first and then flattening it down afterwards. I'll show you that method after it's baked. Slip, uh, put uh, a line down through it, down the middle. Again, it doesn't matter if it's curly. You can't see anything I'm doing. Uh, where's that light coming from? I don't know. There's a lot of light that's come from somewhere. Right. Okay. So you then you, from the center, come out, with just a few little lines. Shut up. A few little lines. I'll show you up and up close in a second what I did there. Again, pinch the psych, and it's something you can pinch and you can pick up. And uh, if you can actually see, oh, there's a lot of light. I don't know where it's coming from. Where is it coming from? I don't know. There's a lot of light. Can you kind of see that? There we go. <laughs> you can kind of you can kind of make out that. I do apologise for the camera. 
Yes, I'm doing every single, every individual feather. I did this, and this is what takes the time, really. Show the other camera there. That is, uh, that is what, uh, yeah, it takes the time. <laughs> I'm going to do every individual feather. Right, so what I can do every individual feather, do each individual thing, I'm doing exactly the same way, that exactly the same method, but I'm going to go big size to little small size, so we don't need that piece, obviously. There you go, there's another feather. Pinch, this up, pinch the top, because that's where you're going to be attaching it. To begin with, grab your knife or whatever tool. I sometimes just use these plastic tools. Doesn't matter what it is. Down the middle. Crisscross out. Well, not crisscross, sorry. Go out on a vertical. I don't know. Vertical, is it? You can go quick. You can go small. Doesn't matter. It could be rough. could be untidy. It could be whatever. It's a wing. It's a feather. You're going to be making... Friggin' loads of them. So what my what I did, the amount I used yesterday was a full lid, just for one wing, was a full lid of different sized form like a ice cream tub. Full lid is about enough if you're gonna fill that with different sized ones from large to small. And it doesn't matter how many large ones, it doesn't really matter how many small ones. I would make more large, no, less large to the amount of small ones you do. But uh, yeah. We're going to be using all this scrap and making some wings. So strap in, strap on, and listen while I get crafting. The top contenders for Exhibit A. Where they go wrong, of course, is assuming that the Wretched Road is evil simply because of the incredible carnage and frustration it engenders every day. In fact, very few people on the face of the planet know that the very shape of the M25 forms the sigil of Degra in the language of the black priesthood of ancient Mu, and means, hail the great beast devourer of worlds. The thousands of motorists who daily fume their way around its serpentine lengths have the same effect as water on a prayer wheel, grinding out an endless fog of low-grade evil to pollute the metaphysical atmosphere for scores of miles around. It was one of Crowley's better achievements. It had taken years to achieve and had involved three computer hacks, two break-ins, one minor bribery, and on one wet night when all else had failed, two hours in a squelchy field shifting the marker pegs a few but occultly incredibly significant meters. When Crowley had watched the first 30 mile long tailback, he'd experienced the lovely warm feeling of a bad job well done. It had earned him a commendation. Crowley was currently doing 110 miles per hour somewhere east of Slough. Nothing about him looked particularly demonic, at least by classical standards. No horns, no wings. Admittedly, he was listening to a Best of Queen tape, but no conclusion should be drawn from this because all tapes left in a car for more than about a fortnight metamorphose into Best of Queen albums. No particularly demonic thoughts were going through his head. In fact, he was currently wondering vaguely who Moe and Shandong were. Crowley had dark hair and good cheekbones, and he was wearing snakeskin shoes. Or at least, presumably, he was wearing shoes. And he could do really weird things with his tongue. And whenever he forgot himself, he had a tendency to hiss. And he also didn't blink much. The car he was driving was a 1926 Black Bentley, one owner from New, and that owner had been Crowley. He looked after it. The reason he was late was that he was enjoying the 20th century immensely. It was much better than the 17th, and a lot better than the 14th. One of the nice things about time, Crowley always said, was that it was steadily taking him further away from the 14th century, the most bloody, boring hundred years on God's, excuse his French, earth. The 20th century was anything but boring. In fact, a flashing blue light in his rearview mirror had been telling Crowley for the last 50 seconds that he was being followed by two men who would like to make it even more interesting for him. He glanced at his watch, which was designed for the kind of rich deep-sea diver who likes to know what the time is in 21 world capitals while he's down there. It was custom-made for Crowley. Getting just one chip custom-made is incredibly expensive, but he could afford it. This watch is 
Alexa, stop. It was too late. The Bentley thundered up the exit ramp, took the corner on two wheels, and plunged down a leafy road. The blue light followed. Crowley sighed, took one hand from the wheel, and yeah, we're nearly there. Gonna made a complicated it. gesture over his shoulder. The flashing light dimmed into the distance as the police car rolled to a halt, much to the amazement of its occupants. But it would be nothing to the amazement they'd experience when they opened the bonnet and found out what the engine had turned into. In the graveyard, Hastur, the yeah, tall demon, looking good. passed I'll a dog back in the yard, the shorter longer, and more accomplished lurker. I make some more wins? Night, he said. Here he comes now, the flash bastard. What's that he's driving? said Ligur. It's a car. An horse's carriage, explained Hastur. I expect you didn't have them last time you was here. Not for what you might call general use. They had a man at the front with a red flag, said Ligur. They've come on a bit since then, I reckon. What's his crony like? said Ligur. Hastur spat. He's been up here too long, he said. Right from the start. Gone late, if you ask me. Drives a car with a telephone in it. Ligur pondered this. Like most demons, he had a very limited grasp of technology. So he was just about to say something like, I bet it needs a lot of wire, when the Bentley rolled to a halt at the cemetery gate. And he wears sunglasses, sneered Hastur, even when he don't need to. He raised his voice. All hail Satan, he said. All hail Satan, Ligur echoed. Hi, said Crowley, giving him a little wave. Sorry I'm late, but you know how it is on the A40 in Denham. Then I tried to cut up towards Chorley Wood, and then... Now we are all here, said Pastor meaningfully. We must recount the deeds of the day. Yeah, deeds, said Crowley, with the slightly guilty look okay, of one so who's been for the first time in years, and has forgotten which bits you stand up for. Pastor cleared his throat. I have tempted a priest, he said. As he walked down the street and saw the pretty girls in the sun, I put doubt in his mind. He would have been a saint, but within a decade we shall have him. Nice one, said Crowley helpfully. I have corrupted a politician, said Ligur. I let him think a tiny bribe would not hurt. Within a year we shall have him. They both looked expectantly at Crowley, who gave them a big smile. You'll like this, he said. His smile became even wider and more conspiratorial. I tied up every portable telephone system in central London for 45 minutes at lunchtime, he said. There was silence, except for the distant swishing of cars. Yeah, said Pasteur, and then what? Look, it wasn't easy, said Crowley. That's all, said Ligur. Look, people, and exactly what has that done to secure souls for our master, said Pasteur. Crowley pulled himself together. What could he tell them? That 20,000 people got bloody furious? That you could hear the arteries clanging shut all across the city? And that then they went back and took it out on their secretaries or traffic wardens or whatever, and they took it out on other people in all kinds of vindictive little ways which, and here was the good bit, they thought up themselves. For the rest of the day, the knock-on effects were incalculable. Thousands and thousands of souls all got a faint patina a tarnish, and you hardly had to lift a finger. But you couldn't tell that to demons like Hastur and Ligura. Fourteenth century minds the lot of them, spending years picking away at one's soul. Admittedly, it was craftsmanship. But you had to think differently these days, not big but wide. With five billion people in the world, you couldn't pick the buggers off one by one anymore. You had to spread your efforts. But demons like Ligura and Hastur wouldn't understand. They'd never have thought up Welsh language television, for example, or value-added tax, or Manchester. He'd been particularly pleased with Manchester. The powers that be seem to be satisfied, he said. Times are changing. Alexa, stop. Okay, that is an alarm for the PS4. Give me a second, I'm going to reset that. The basket. Oh, but hopefully you'll see what I'm doing with the... No. Yes, said Hastur, grinning. Uh, what I'm doing with the wings here? Yes. And uh, it's up to me to... Yes. Hastur was enjoying this. Why me? Said Crowley desperately. You know me, Hastur. This isn't, you know, my scene. Oh, it is. It is, said Hastur. 
your scene, your starring role. Take it. Times are changing. Yeah, said Ligo, grinning. They're coming to an end for a start. Why me? You are obviously highly favoured, said Hastur maliciously. Though I imagine Ligur here would give his right arm for a chance like this. That's right, said Ligur. Someone's right arm anyway, he thought. There were plenty of right arms around. No sense in wasting a good one. Hastur produced a clipboard from the grubby recesses of his Mac. Sign here, he said, leaving a terrible pause between the words. Crowley okay, so that's reset. In an inside pocket of Alexa, set me 50 minutes on a timer. 50 minutes, starting now. It could write on the oh, water, Crowley muttered. Whatever will they think of next, he used the girl. Whatever it is, they better think of it back quickly. Down. Make more Hester. wings. No, not AJ Crowley, your real name. <laughs> Crowley nodded mournfully and drew a complex wiggly signal on the paper. It glowed redly in the gloom just for a moment and then faded. What am I supposed to do with it? He said. You will receive instructions, Astor scowled. Why so worried, Crowley? The moment we have been working for all these centuries is at hand. Uh, yeah, right, we are. said Crowley. He did not look now like, like that, the that. lithe figure that had sprung so lively from the Bentley a few minutes ago. He had a hunted expression. A ah, moment of eternal triumph awaits. Eternal, yeah, said Crowley. And you will be a tool of that glorious destiny. <laughs> try to get all these done Mother before Crowley. that. He picked up the basket as if it might explode, which, in a manner of speaking, it would shortly do. Uh, okay, he said. I'll um, be off then, shall I? Get it over with. Not that I want to get it over with, he added hurriedly, aware of the things that could happen if Hastur turned in an unfavorable report. But you know me, keen, the senior demons did not speak. So I'll be popping along, Crowley babbled. See you guys, uh, see you. Um, great, fine. Ciao. As the Bentley skidded off into the darkness, Ligur said, What's that mean? It's Italian, said Hastur. I think it means food. Funny thing to say then? Ligur stared at the retreating taillights. You trust him? He said. No, said Hastur. Right, said Ligur. It'd be a funny old world, he reflected, if demons went around trusting one another. Crowley, somewhere west of Amersham, hurtled through the night, snatched a tape at random and tried to wrestle it out of its brittle plastic box while staying on the road. We're not done, but I've got quite a few done already. Valdez, four seasons. I can make a few, make as many as I need, any time. The other way you, I could make a, a wing, get a, oh, a little snake Why now? Why sausage me? He muttered as the familiar strains of Queen washed over him. And suddenly, Freddie Mercury was speaking to him. Because you Man earned out. it, Crowley. Crowley blessed Pinch under his breath. Using electronics as a means of communication Scroll had been his idea, and Below had, for once, and taken it up. Sides. And, as usual, got it dead wrong. He'd hoped they could be persuaded to subscribe to Cellnet, but instead they just cut into whatever it happened to be that he was listening to at the time and twisted it. Crowley gulped. Uh, thank you very much, Lord, he said. We Probably something I should have said at the very beginning you, was Thank make sure you did on a plastic sheet because that's it will not peel off. <laughs> and you've been there forever trying to get it off a wooden this table. I've done that. Don't do it. <laughs> I'll do it so you don't have to. <laughs> that is what we are doing. <laughs> Somebody we made. And if it goes wrong, then those involved will suffer greatly. Even you, Crowley. Especially you. Understood, Lord. Here are your instructions, Crowley. And suddenly he knew. He hated that. They could just as easily have told him they didn't suddenly have to drop chilly knowledge straight into his brain. He had to drive to a certain hospital. I'll be there in five minutes, Lord. No problem. Good. Yeah. I see a little silhouette. Oh, man's got a moosh, got a moosh. Can you watch your, would you want to see what's come out of my oven? Uh, it's, a bit, it's a very, very soft still because it's just come out of the oven. But the wing is ready. It's hardened ever so slightly more so here. Hard all the way down here, apart from the obvious. It's still warm, but it's, it's still warm 
but it's not anywhere close to clay like this now. Uh, it's more of a uh, like a soft, like a soft dough. I don't know, you've just taken bread out of the oven sort of thing. It's um, that kind of, it's it's soft, but it's kind of got integrity. Um, yeah, we still need to keep the armour, the supports on it. I can't really show you what I, how I'm doing it. Well, actually, yeah, I can, like I said. Take it and turn it. Look at that underneath. Uh, but yeah, we've got this wing. It is all, all done. Soft. All the wings that I did, or the feathers I did there, they've gone up nicely and they've stayed there. I thought maybe some of them may fall off, but they're attached and they're all already the same as this wing here. Is ready to start putting feathers on. Well, I say, well, it will be as soon as it's cooled down. Again, I, I would say it's going to take about, I'm going to give it 10 minutes normal cooling down in the air. And then I'm going to maybe put it in the fridge to cool it down so I can put the put the feathers on. But we'll see about that. The feathers may need to go on a bit, bit later. So I may have to do another stream just on feathers. But uh, I'm showing you how to make them. So you'll definitely be able to see what they are like or how I put them on. After, give me a second, I'll wipe that down. Even though there's so much crap at the bottom. No mind about the clay, but I do mind about the black grease. Get off. Right, yeah. What were you saying in the chat there? How many feathers are you? How many? Oh yeah, I guess as many as it takes to fill that up. That's roughly how much I needed last time. And I'm, like I said, I'm doing a variable large to small. Smaller wings for the. Ah, oh, God, crap, I can't even show you. Um, well, we had the wing piece. You know, the wing was like this, like this. Um, smaller pieces here as it's coming out of the back and then larger pieces as it comes down. So a small, a few small, small to large here and same for the thing. I got, now because that was flat, like you saw me make the whole thing was flat, there was no, no textures to it. When that's cooled down, I'll be able to use these uh, to fold about and make them the textured piece because I've already textured them out with the, with the score lines, but I'm going to be making probably a few more. Um, while that cools down, because there's not much else I can do until that cools down. So, and if it doesn't cool down, I don't know what to do. I might have a little break, but I can't really do that when I'm live, unless you guys have got suggestions to do for when I'm not much to do. I've got to make more wings. Why did I put that excess? I don't know. Let's get that back on. Went over man, shadow moose, shadow moose, will you do the fandango? Crowley thumps the wheel. Everything had been going so well. He had it really under his thumb these few centuries. That's how it goes. You think you're on top of the world, and suddenly they spring Armageddon on you. The Great War. The Last Battle. Heaven versus Hell. Three rounds, one fall, no submission. And that'd be that. No more world. That's what the end of the world meant. No more world. Just endless heaven, or depending on who won, endless hell. Crowley didn't know which was worse. Well... Hell was worse, of course, by definition, but Crowley remembered what heaven was like, and it had quite a few things in common with hell. You couldn't get a decent drink in either of them, for a start. And the boredom you got in heaven was almost as bad as the excitement you got in hell. But there was no getting out of it. You couldn't be a demon and have to be, well, I will not let you go. Let him go. Well, at least it couldn't be this year. You have time to do things. Unload long-term stops for a start. He wondered what would happen if he just stopped the car here on this dark and damp and empty road and took the basket and swung it round and round and let it go. And something dreadful that was. He'd been an angel once. He hadn't meant to fall. He just hung around with the wrong people. The Bentley plunged on through the darkness, its fuel gauge pointing to zero. It had pointed to zero for more than 60 years now. It wasn't all bad being a demon. You didn't have to buy petrol, for one thing. 
The only time Crowley had bought petrol was once in 1967 to get the free James Bond bullet hole in the windscreen transfers, which he rather fancied at the time. On the back seat, the thing in the basket began to cry. The air raid siren wail of the newly born. High, wordless, and oh. It was quite a nice hospital, thought Mr Young. It would have been quiet, too, if it wasn't for the nuns. He quite liked nuns. Not that he was a, you know, left foot or anything like that. No, when it came to avoiding going to church, the church he stolidly avoided going to was St Cecil and All Angels, no-nonsense C of E, and he wouldn't have dreamed of avoiding going to any other. All the others had the wrong smell, floor polish for the low, somewhat suspicious incense for the high. Deep in the leather armchair of his soul, Mr Young knew that God got embarrassed at that sort of thing. But he liked seeing nuns around, in the same way that he liked seeing the Salvation Army. It made you feel that it was all right, that people somewhere were keeping the world on its axis. This was his first experience of the chattering order of St. Beryl, however. St. Beryl Articulatus of Krakow, reputed to have been martyred in the middle of the 5th century. According to legend, Beryl was a young woman who was betrothed against her will to a pagan, Prince Casimir. On their wedding night, she prayed to the Lord to intercede, vaguely expecting a miraculous beard to appear, and had in fact already laid in a small ivory-handled razor, suitable for ladies, against this very eventuality. Instead, the Lord granted Beryl the miraculous ability to chatter continually about whatever was on her mind, however inconsequential, without pause for breath or food. According to one version of the legend, Beryl was strangled by Prince Casimir three weeks after the wedding, with their marriage still unconsummated. She died a virgin and a martyr, chattering to the end. According to another version of the legend, Casimir bought himself a set of earplugs, and she died in bed with him at the age of 62. The chattering order of St. Beryl is under a vow to emulate St. Beryl at all times, except on Tuesday afternoons for half an hour, when the nuns are permitted to shut up, and, if they wish, to play table tennis. Deirdre had run across them while being involved in one of her causes, possibly the one involving lots of unpleasant South Americans fighting other unpleasant South Americans, and the priests egging them on instead of getting on with their proper priestly concerns like organising the church cleaning rota. The point was, nuns should be quiet. They were the right shape for it, like those pointy things you got in those chambers, Mr Young was vaguely aware your hi-fi got tested in. They shouldn't be, well, chattering all the time. He filled his pipe with tobacco. Well, they called it tobacco. It wasn't what he thought it was tobacco. It wasn't the tobacco you used to get and wondered reflectively what would happen if you asked a nun where the gents was. Probably the Pope sent you a sharp note or something. He shifted his position awkwardly and glanced at his watch. One thing, though, at least the nuns had put their foot down about him being present at the birth. Deirdre had been all for it. She'd been reading things again. One kid already, and suddenly she's declaring that this confinement was going to be the most joyous and sharing experience two human beings could have. That's what came of letting her order her own newspapers. Mr Young distrusted papers whose inner pages had names like lifestyle or options. Well, he hadn't got anything against joyous sharing experiences. Well, soon. Joyous sharing experiences were fine by him. The world probably needed more joyous sharing experiences. But he had made... I might have to take away that, that one magazine a week. One joyous sharing experience Deirdre could have by herself. And the nuns had agreed. They saw no reason for the father to be involved in the proceedings. When he thought about it, Mr. Young mused, they probably saw no reason why the father should be involved anywhere. He finished thumbing the so-called tobacco into the pipe and glared at the little sign on the wall of the waiting room that said, for his own comfort, he would not smoke. For his own comfort, he okay. decided he'd go and stand. Last piece. I don't think I'm going to need any more than that. If I do, I can make them as a go. So much the better. And he uses that little piece up here and make one more wind. the doorway that led out onto a rain swept courtyard full of righteous dustbins. Same way I did before. He Sausage, squishing it. To light his pipe. But now, it happened to them at a certain it. age, wives. 25 blameless years, and suddenly they were going off and doing these robotic Back exercises off the in pink socks with the feet cut out, and they started blaming you for never having had to work for a living. It was hormones or something. A large black car skidded to a halt by the dustbins. 
A young man in dark glasses leapt out into drizzle, holding what looked like a carry cot, and snaked towards the entrance. Mr. Young took his pipe out of his mouth. You've left your lights on, he said helpfully. The man gave him the blank look of someone to whom lights are the least of his worries, and waved a hand vaguely toward the Bentley. The lights went out. That's Andy, said Mr. Young. That's Andy, that it. is there. He was mildly surprised to see that the man did not appear to be wet, and that the carry cot appeared to be occupied. Has it started yet? said the man. Mr. Young felt vaguely proud to be so instantly recognisable as a parent. Yes, he said. They made me go out, he added, thankfully. Already? Any idea how long we've got? We, Mr. Young noted, obviously a doctor with views about co-parenting. I think we were uh, getting on with it, said Mr. Young. What room is she in? said the man hurriedly. We're in room three, said Mr. Young. Right on, right on, right on. Right, okay, so that's cooled down enough for me to stop being put in a little Cool down enough for me to put the other wings on. No, nope, keep on the wings. I've already done the wings. We're doing the uh, feathers. And it's still in the core of it. It's still quite a warm, so I'm kind of like dubious whether I should. But everything is still, again, it's still a little bit flexible, but that is fine because they're Oh, that is a little bit flexible. But that is a pre-wing. That that's been baked twice now, so I could kind of wobble that around. It'll go hard, but it's still got a little bit of a give on to it, so it's not completely like clay. It is kind of uh, flexible. Ooh. This wing needs a bit more clay to hold it there. I didn't do that. Okay. Okay. Let's put a bit more clay. This I'm going to have to rebake this. What I found a massive fault right there. I'm going to have to put a little bit of clay on this here so it supports itself. Once I've taken that away, okay. Right, let's get that in there. I'm going to have to put this in the oven again before I start putting any wing, any uh, feathers on there. Uh, because it will not support itself and we need it to support itself so I can put the feathers on. Okay, All right, let's turn that around there. I don't want it to be like a backpack though, so we'll be careful there what I do and how much I put on. As long as it's got enough attaching to each other, it should be fine. A little bit connecting. I've got to be careful what I touch because it's really tacky. Right. And then other than the... Actually, other than that piece there, it's actually all right to start putting piece onto. I'm going to take away that pencil now and see, see what we got. How much it'll flop. Not too much. That's all right. Take away this as well now. The other armature piece. And there we go. I don't really don't want to lay it down just in case the wing falls apart, but the wing is now on and we're ready to start putting feathers on, I think. This is all this is cool now. What I could do actually, so it's all cool, is put that pencil back, stick him in the fridge for a little bit. So the whole thing cools down. Are you get to listen to a little bit more of that? Young, he patted his pockets and found the battered packet, which in a corporate tradition he had brought with him. Would we care to share a joyous cigar experience? He said, but the man had gone. Mr. Young carefully replaced the packet and looked reflectively at his pipe. Always in a rush, these doctors, working all the hours God sent. There's a trick they do with one pea and three cups, which is very hard to follow. And something like it, for greater stakes than a handful of loose change, is about to take... That's all I've kept there, though. 
the text. Just the shape. Tim Paul is very handy. Always keep it, guys. Mrs. Deirdre Young is giving birth in delivery room. That's how many three. wings we've made so far? A golden-haired male baby we'll call baby A. The wife of the American cultural attaché, Mrs. Harriet Dowling, is giving birth in delivery room four. She is having a golden-haired male baby we will call baby B. Sister Mary Loquacious has been a devout Satanist since birth. She went to Sabbath school as a child and won black stars for handwriting and liver. When she was told to join the Chattering Order, she went obediently, having a natural talent in that direction, and, in any case, knowing that she would be among friends. She would be quite bright if she was ever put in a position to find out. She's going to take a picture from the phone, so I can send it to Instagram. Cool. If you're not a fan already, guys, uh, Instagram and TikTok, like I said at the beginning of the video, same name, different place. I'll send them later. Send them now. If you're already over there, go and check them out, guys, so you get a better picture of what they look like so far. We can check it back later. Totally up to you. Quiet without anything in the background, eh? That's why I always use two different devices. And I didn't turn the other device on, did I, George? No. Bing bong bang. Bing a dee doo. Let's get off the social media and back on with the playlist. But long ago found that being a scatterbrain, as she put it, gave you an easier journey through life. Currently, she is being handed a golden-haired male baby we will call the Adversary, Destroyer of Kings, Angel of the Bottomless Pit, Great Beast that is called Dragon, Prince of this World, Father of Lies, Spawn of Satan, and Lord of Darkness. Watch carefully. How did they know my name? Round they go. Is that him? said Sister Mary, staring at the baby. Only I'd expected funny eyes, red or green, what teensy weensy little hoofikins, or a widow tail. She turned him around as she spoke. No horns either. The devil's child looked ominously normal. Yes, that's him, said Crowley. Fancy me holding the Antichrist, said Sister Mary, and bathing the Antichrist and counting his little toesy boxes. <laughs> she was now addressing the child directly, lost in some world of her own. Crowley waved a hand in front of her with Hello, hello, Sister Mary. Ah, sorry, sir. He's a little sweet after all. Does he look like his daddy? I oh. bet he does. Does he look like his daddy, Wannikins? No, said Crowley firmly. And now I should get up to the delivery rooms if I wish. I'm going to make an actual well, cup of tea. Well, you remember me when he goes up, you think? A kettle. Said Sister Mary, whispering, not a sidling slowly down the corridor. Pray that he doesn't, said Crowley, and fled. Sister Mary headed through the nighttime hospital with the adversary, destroyer of kings, angel of the bottomless pit, great beast of his court dragon, prince of this world, father of lies, and small boy McClay. But uh, yeah, that's all we got. Like, I wish I could find the whole packet. I think I've uh, chopped it down as I've gone further. But that second finish. Yeah. Thank you. That's generally how much clay we've used just for this item. We've probably used that much in clay just to make what I've made and what I showed you, the whole thing. 
But the other thing is because I'm still waiting for that to cool down. We've, uh, if you haven't checked them out already, and you're watching live still, you idiot. There, we made these uh, for the pomme I didn't know really what I was going to do with them. Just they were going to be sitting in eggs. Come up with a different idea for different eggs. And there's another one in there. Little, uh, little dude. Uh, come on, who's his name? Oh, God. Tropical Snake, if I can remember all their names. If you don't remember, though, those are in all the playlists, and uh, they're the ones that are tre trending at the moment. That's the Ambient Rock Chick. She was drawn, uh, or they've all been drawn. They've all been uh, made in clay, and they've all been uh, made in VR as well. If you haven't checked out either of each stage, I definitely recommend doing so. Little crocodile. Someone's on his nose there. Damn it. Someone's on his nose. Can't get off. Oh, I'll never mind. Step it back in there. Where's the other one? There it is. And Disco Platypus. There's a little Disco Ball. All come with something. Bit of magnets and more your thing. I've got a few of those as well. I'm sure you've seen me make these already, but uh, my God of War uh, Chaos Blades, they are magnetic. They will stick anywhere that's magnetic. Or you can use them as a keychain, something like that. You can make absolutely anything you can think of out of palm clay. Just something as simple as a hammer. Or Thor's hammer there. To a Spider-Man figurine, which has been anywhere. Which I the paints on this I'll be using for other things. If Spider-Man's not your thing and you're more of a girly girl, we can do a bit of froppy there. If you're more into the anime more than the animated, and if you really want to get adventurous and uh, see what magnets can do. You can have yourself a little buildable toy, which also comes in eggs like this. So you get to crack it open and play. Kind of like a kinder's egg, but more of my idea, just using a similar idea. We've got the uh, buildable blue, which like a Mr. Potato Head type thing. All his arms and his legs are all, build, all magnetic. You can either put them onto his body, or you can stick them. Wherever you like. Interchangeable. Thinking of making another one of these because there's another character that I need to make for because I've already made that one there. Made, uh, well, this is me. As, uh, I was trying to uh, sort of, I was on this business school, kind of come up with something for myself, and that's me, if you like. I made a morning skate. Fortunately, I can't show you that one because he's got that one and that one's not here. But as you just put in the, in the uh, comments, yes, we made. A Vigoric! In the same format. It was the first thing I made that was with magnet, mag magnets that uh, wasn't a Spider-Man and the, the buildable type. Again, he's completely he's taken completely apart. Or oh, put them together however you like. It's fairly fragile, but that's because of the, uh, the idea of it. They're interchangeable. Each leg has a different thing. But if you're still not... Uh, Convinced to things what you can use from the clay for and make magnets. You can even have something that uh, you can build yourself. As in that comes with the face. That's the other. If you don't know who the other is, you can check out in the playlist uh, for all created everything. He's been made in, he's been drawn, like I always do. I do drawing. I do polymer clay, and then I go into VR. I've already done everything that you can see in VR already. VR, go to the all VR playlist. But uh, this one here is one of my favorites because he has a little mask. And his mask, well, is again magnetic, so it stays on the face. But it clicks onto his face like that. And he's got a set of wings, because you know I love myself a set of wings. As this is the anti-character, the blue angel, or the alternate character, or the villain, as you would like to say. 
uh, in the story I'm trying to create, but it's more of a, just an origin story. Um, for this is the other that goes with or the 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 other all word on all, all one word the the. Uh, he's the villain to the Blue Angel, which we're making now. I haven't made a little mini magnet of uh, blue of uh, Blue Angel, but I don't know what. Maybe I will in the future. Depends how many likes I get on this. And how many? How much I actually got? How many magnets I got left? Because I know I've got hardly any left. And I'm trying. Keep that on my fridge. I ain't going to stick them back in my fridge and put them all in my box because they're, they're, they're taking much time. Little, little, get in your box. Little, 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 little. There we go. All in the box of fun. Oh, completely forgot because I'm still waiting for things to cool down. There is the uh, Life is Strange, if you know that TV series or the Netflix series. Did a little bit of Life is Strange. Drew that one, drew a picture with that one, a reversible picture. If you didn't check that one out, definitely, definitely go and do so. I had a go at making the upside down as well as the ordinary world in VR as well. That one is an interesting one. You definitely need to check that one out because I get to I flip the world completely. So whatever happens on one side is happening on the other side. That was difficult to do. I'll tell you that now. And uh, if uh, you're into the new Spider-Man, there is the um, spider armor. Maybe the best that I could. Same, similar way to make the Spider-Man. It's a bit darker, so I did think about changing the color. But uh, he's got a set of arms to go uh, with the, the new films that have come out recently. You're a big fan, you know I am. You know I love the Spider-Man. You also know I love me uh, God of War, and uh, there's the first large item magnet that I made. The uh, Leviathan Axe, which I also made in uh, a larger scale. Will you stop falling on my hands? My hands are a bit tired now because of all the things. Uh, made them on a larger scale. My own wooden Leviathan axe. If you didn't check that one out, again, all God of War content for every make I have done for that. There has been many series. So if you're new to the channel, again, my name is Blute084. B-L-U-T-084. For art and games. You want to check out all the playlists for all the different content. They've all got specific content for specific games or specific things you would like to look at that I've just mentioned. Watch out! Cha! Spawn of Satan and Lord of Darkness safely in her arms. She found a bassinet and laid him down in it. He gurgled. She gave him a tickle. A matronly head appeared around a door. It said, Sister Barry, what are you doing there? Shouldn't you be on duty in room four? And Master Crowley said, Just glide along, there's a good nun. Have you seen my husband anywhere? He's not in the waiting room. I've only seen Master Crowley, and he told me, I'm sure he did, said Sister Grace Volleyball firmly. I suppose I'd better go and look for the wretched man. Come in and keep an eye on her, will you? She's a bit woozy, but the baby's fine. Sister Grace paused. Why are you winking? Is there something wrong in your eye? You know, Sister Mary hissed archly, the babies, the exchange. Of course, of course, in good time, but we can't have the father wandering around, can we? said Sister Grace. No telling what he might see, so just wait here and find the baby there, dear. She sailed off down the polished corridor. Sister Mary, wheeling her bassinet, entered the delivery room. Mrs. Young was more than woozy, she was fast asleep, with the look of determined self-satisfaction of someone who knows that other people are going to have to do the running around for once. Baby A was asleep beside her, weighed and name-tagged. Sister Mary, who had been brought up to be helpful, removed the name-tag, copied it out, and attached the duplicate to the baby in her care. She did. Okay, well, <clears throat> the baby I'm talking about right now is this one here, which is cooled down now. Nice and cool. I stuck him in the fridge for a little bit. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting him in the fridge if you want to cool it down quick. Um, it does. It's the same effect as it like a piece of glass, some sort of glass, um, where you super cool it, 
to you've just had it nice and warm you've always let it cool down a little bit before you stick it in the fridge if you need to start working on it again uh, because it will become brittle and you don't want it to become brittle put that little bit in there if you saw the little extra and that's held quite nicely uh with it cooling down again with it completely cooling down that wing is now completely the same as this wing over here again this one's a little bit more fortified and a little bit more stiff now because it's cooled down that means i can pick it up play with it do whatever i like and not nothing will happen but i can show you what i'm going to be doing with the wings now oh oh my little lizard coming off damn it I'm <coughs> dog shut up um i'm gonna take our lizard off that's a shame oh that's a shame you just broke that's all right we can stick him back with another bit of polymer clay um Maybe it's because it hasn't got polymer cave base. Maybe that's why. He's fallen off the top here. That it's a shame. But anyway, I'll show you the wings that you, we just made. You can see on the side here. That's kind of the idea that I'm going to be going for. Uh, get in the frame. That's the kind of idea that I'm going to be going for. A bit close. It's getting closer. It's a pain. There we are. You can see what I've done there. Laid them over each other. And that's why I pre-scored them. So when I stick them on, I won't have to score anything and put the detail on there. So I put the detail on pre-doing it. But I'll be doing it on both sides. So you I'll show you there. Same idea. Layer them in, small to larger ones. Well, that's why I left this completely bare, like a bat's wing. Because I can just layer them on top of each other. And that, again, why I put a score mark here. To show me the difference between the large the smaller wings smaller feathers sorry to the larger feathers same within the inside little score mark the smaller feathers the larger feathers i will stand it up to do so um but i will try show you a few why it's laying down and then i'll pick it up because i don't want to put too much pressure why it's laying down it will become quite on the bend here where it was already soft it'll start falling apart and i don't want that there's it would be more hassle than it is because i have to reset it re-put it in and that means i'll have to rebake it i don't want to have to be bothering with that right now because i've already took so much time baking it but this is the whole process from start to beginning to just do one wing so you imagine this two times over but if i was doing two wings together then i would do the same thing bake it all pre-bake it and then um, bring it out but it because uh, I did one offline I wanted to show you how I did one online wings right let's get it back on and I'll show you how to attach the wings the babies looked similar both being small blotchy and looking sort of though not really like Winston Churchill now thought Sister Mary I can do with a nice cup of tea most of the members of the convent were old-fashioned Satanists like their parents Remember I was saying to you before, your little tab t, t, tab piece at the very top. Ooh, I put a lot of pressure on there. That's already broken. Right. But it's where it's broken or where I knew it would. Yeah, I'm going to have to stand up. There's no way I'm going to be able to lay it down. Whoa, with that piece of random clay. Which, where's it going? Where's it going? There it is. I have to put a little bit there to fortify before I go playing with this too much because it will fall apart and we do not want that not at all because if it gets heavy before. okay There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to put any pressure onto it other than where I'm going to be attaching them. So I, if you can see, hopefully you can there, I'm putting my finger on the top there and gently pressing up against it. But I, I can't even do it at that angle. No, it's just falling off, falling off again. I'm going to have to face it towards me, guys. I do apologize. You will be able to see this on the uh, PlayStation recording now. I get doing so I can get Some a few done. Before them. They've been brought up to it and weren't when you've got right down to it, particularly evil. Human beings mostly aren't. They just get carried away by new ideas, like dressing up in jackboots and shooting people. 
or dressing up in white sheets and lynching people, or dressing up in tie-dye jeans and playing guitars at people. Offer people a new creed with a costume, and their hearts and minds will follow. Anyway, being brought up as a Satanist tended to take the edge of it. It was something you did on Saturday nights, and the rest of the time you simply got on with life as best you could, just like everyone else. Besides, Sister Mary was a nurse, and nurses, whatever their creed, are primarily nurses, which had a lot to do with wearing your watch upside down, keeping calm in emergencies, and dying for a cup of tea. She hoped someone would come soon. She'd done the important bit, now she wanted her tea. It may help to understand human affairs to be clear that most of the great triumphs and tragedies of history are caused not by people being fundamentally good or fundamentally bad, but by people being fundamentally people. There was a knock on the door. She opened it. Has it happened yet? asked Mr. Young. I'm the father, the husband, whatever, both. Sister Mary had expected the American cultural attaché to look like Blake Carrington or J.R. Ewing. Mr. Young didn't look like any American she'd ever seen on television, except possibly for the avuncular sheriff in the better class of murder mystery, with a little old lady as a sleuth and no car chases unless they're done very slowly. He was something of a disappointment. She didn't think much of his cardigan either. She swallowed her disappointment. Oh, yes, she said. Congratulations. Your lady wife's asleep, poor pet. Mr. Young looked over her shoulder. Twins, he said. He reached for his pipe. He stopped reaching for his pipe. He reached for it again. Twins? No one said anything about twins. Oh, no, said Sister Mary hurriedly. This one's yours. The other one's uh, someone else's. Just looking after him till Sister Grace gets back. No, she reiterated, pointing to the adversary, destroyer of kings, angel of the bottomless pit, great beast that is called dragon, prince of this world, father of lies, spawn of Satan, and lord of darkness. This one's definitely yours. From the top of his head, the tips of his hoofy woofies, uh, which he hasn't got, she added hastily. Mr. Young peered down. Ah, yes, he said doubtfully. It looks like my side of the family. All there, present and correct, is he? Oh, yes, said Sister Mary. He's a very normal child, she added. Very, very normal. There was a pause. They stared at the sleeping baby. You don't have much of an accent, said Sister Mary. Have you been over here long? About ten years, said Mr. Young, mildly puzzled. The job moved, you see, and I had to move with it. It must be a very exciting job, I've always thought, said Sister Mary. Mr. Young looked gratified. Not everyone appreciated the more stimulating aspects of cost accountancy. I expect it was very different where you were before, Sister Mary went on. I suppose so, said Mr. Young, who'd never really thought about it. Luton, as far as he could remember, was pretty much like Tadfield. The same sort of hedges between your house and the railway station, the same sort of people. Taller buildings for one thing, said Sister Mary desperately. Mr. Young stared at her. The only one he could think of was the Alliance and Leicester offices. All right. And I expect you go to a lot of garden parties, said the nun. Ah, he was on firmer ground here. Deirdre was very keen on that sort of thing. Yes, he said with feeling. Deirdre makes jam for them, you know, and I normally have to help with the white elephant. It's been fallen off left by right center. Uh, so it was never occurred to Sister Mary, although the. So we've done a few layers of the wings there. Quickly show that other camera. And I'll show you. Um, if you can see there. What I've done, layered them in between each other. You really can't, can you, with this camera? But I can't even get that chimp. Where is it? Layered them in on top of each other. From small to large. You should be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better now. I'll do them on the back. Get that to sit down there. I'm going to have to prop this up. I'm going to have to prop this up when I bake it. So let's prop it now. Prop it now. It's not, really, not the best thing I should be doing, but the wings are dag dragging on the ground and I don't want them to be dragging. We're not doing dragons. We're doing other things called wings. Which are, I suppose, from dragons. But that's another story. And I just break that. I just break a sash. 
Wow. Okay. Like I said, put them in the fridge. Everything small is going to be really brittle. Don't do that. Uh, thank God most of this was pre-baked anyway. All right. All hail to the Satan Lord and Savior. <laughs> Let's do some more for what there. Let's do a few more wings. Can I readjust that camera? Yes, I can. You can get to see what I'm doing there. Patty Durham fitted right in. I expect there is a tribute, she said. I read where these foreign potentates give her all sorts of things. And touch the top there. I'm sorry. And then I'm a big fan of the royal family. Slightly tap it in. Oh, so am I, said Mr. Young, leaping gracefully <laughs> onto this new ice flow in the bewildering yeah, stream of consciousness. Dog. Yes, you knew where you were with the royals. The proper ones, of course, who pulled their weight in the hand-waving and bridge-opening department. Not the ones who went to discos all night long and were sick all over the paparazzi. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It is possibly worth mentioning at this point that Mr. Young One thought the, the paparazzi was a kind of top. linoleum. That's nice, said Sister Mary. I thought you people weren't too keen on them. What with the revolution and throwing those tea sets into the river? She chatted on, encouraged by the order's instruction that members should because always Because it's white on white, it's not very hard, easy to see. Mr. Young was out of his depth. Kind and of what I'm saying. to worry about it very much. Kind of what I'm saying there. His patches at the top. I'm going to show you this one. Patches at the top. A dangle. And ever so slightly, not too much pressure. Even if it was fine and it wasn't falling apart, uh, you'd still need to like gentle pressure because else it will get ri you'll uh, ruin all the texturing that you put on because you do not want to be re-texturing re it. It will be a pain in the ass. Gently tap it on. It should attach itself quite gently, quite happily. Where you put it? And down to the bottom. The longer ones, like I said, are more for the outside. The more you, when you need more detail, you can ruffle them if you wish. Change them a little bit so they're not all going in a straight line. I'm going to put another one there on top to cover up the original wing that we had there in the middle of both those ones. Grab another small one and go down. Same process, completely how you would do it, how you feel comfortable putting them on, but I always start with a little tab at the top, like if you were actually pinning on wings for a costume or something like that. Right, that's holding quite well. I only need to hold it because once I've baked it, it shouldn't fall apart anymore. It's just because I'm faffing around it. Wait, I'm right, I'm kind of rushing this and making this a bit quicker than I should be, really. I think I might need another feather or two made because we've got the length. There are a few bits that are missing, which I'll make smaller ones for. Uh, I might be able to hold it. I might get to hide it this way, like that. That's not too bad, actually. I think I mold them in the top. With those tops, those mold, those tops, you can mold them in, so they look like they're almost part of the actual original wing. And then I'm going to need, I'd say, one, two, three, maybe four, five more wing. Uh, I keep calling wings as in the whole thing. The uh, feather. So what I'm going to do with that because I don't want the same sort. I'm going to be flattening this out piece out and make it nice and thin now because they're getting quite heavy again that won't matter once it's baked oh. cut that off make it flat and cut that off it's a bit too big so we'll cut it off here and we've got a small one there because we've made out scrap I can use that I'm going to just move him slightly okay. They pinch the top, score the middle, 
Oh, besides. Stick it on. A tiny one here. A little bit of scrap. Pinch top. Go in the middle, up the sides. I wouldn't go too heavy with that, but it doesn't matter if you go all the way through, because then it gives that your feather a little bit of texture. So all clay is all about texturing. What kind of textures you can put on there? What makes it look that a little bit better then? And mold all that in there. And I think. Mm, well, we're done because that's another 40, 50 minutes. That's a set of wings. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to give that another bake now. Alexa, stop. I'm going to give that another bake now. Show each camera. And then. You can see what it looks like next time when I get round to do some painting. But until next time, guys, my name once again is Blute084, B-L-U-T-084, Art and Games. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Click the links that will appear if you're watching back. Check up on Instagram and TikTok for more information. Leave a like if you do. Bye for now.